Hey everyone, GoBot here back today with a brand new episode for our MLB The Show 20 franchise mode for our relocation team. And this is the Arkansas Razorbacks, who again have taken over from the Kansas City Royals here in the American League Central Division. Uh, again, we played the first game of our season. We won that game by a score, was it 5-4 to four or 4-3, four to three, whatever it was. It was a close battle. But we are undefeated right now. We, we simulated in the end of the last episode through to our, to our first home game. We're 5-0, and but here's the issue. The Indians are 6-0 and to begin their season, so it looks like this American League Central Division is going to be a tight one atop with the Indians and the Razorbacks. Looking at the rest of the league, we have the, the, the Rays leading the East at 5-1. and The Central is, of course, the Indians, and then the Rangers are leading the West at a 5-1 and record, so... Pretty cool to see uh, some of my favorite teams doing well. Looking at the top of the league, uh, former Razorback Andrew Benintendi is leading the American League in batting average with a 550 average. Uh, hits is Altuve. Let's see, who's leading home runs right now early on? Willie Calhoun tied to top with four home runs for the Rangers, so good for him doing well out there. But let's get into this first episode here today uh, for our home series as this is episode two for our relocation franchise. But again, I thank you all so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's episode, as always, hit that thumbs up button. Let's see if we can get 30 likes on today's video. Comment down below. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss a single upload. And feel free, if you haven't already joined in here at GoBotch Gaming, hit that subscribe button and help us reach towards our new goal of 10,000 subscribers. So, 5-0 and Razorbacks. Uh, there you see the two series we've already played on the road. We swept the two-game series against the Tigers and the three-game series against the White Sox. Uh, we've been giving up a fair share of runs, but we have been a really good scoring offense. There you see our lineup, one through nine. Uh, Merrifield's playing really, really well, as is O'Hearn. Uh, but we're going to hope to continue to play extraordinarily well. Again, we're playing here on our home field, which is Old Texas. This is, of course, the ballpark in Arlington, uh, formerly known as the Globe Life Park in Arlington. Uh, but we, we decided, I decided, you know, I like my Razorbacks. I love my Rangers. It's a, it just, it just makes sense for me to, to want to pick this ballpark because otherwise it's just sitting there. I know there's Ranger branding all over this ballpark. We're just going to have to ignore that. It's all good. Who cares? So I'm going to shut my mouth now and let y'all listen to, uh, the intro here. That it is. So here are our home uniforms. Again, I um, I tried my best to model what the real life Razorbacks used um, with their the cream kind of old fashioned home uniforms, which I just love. I think it's such a great look. Uh, so that's what we're gonna have for our home uniforms here for these Razorbacks. Uh, kind of a classic feel to them. I love them. So here we are again, same pitcher from last game. He's uh, five days away from that first start now. He's back here for start number two. And Ramon Marquez, 1-0 with a clean, clean-ish six innings he had last time out. So let's get ready to do battle today against this American League West opponent. This is the Seattle Mariners coming to a, uh, a, a ballpark they know all too well. And we miss outside of the first pitch here. 5-0 again, like I said. To begin the episode, trailing by a half game from the 6-0 Indians. So, we're going to see how we do here. Great weather here on hand, 61 degrees for our home opener. You can't beat that. And it's a home run hitting park, which I love as well. Are you trying to bunt on me, really? Come on, Smith. That ain't going to happen. So, 1-2 count here. And he, Wow. He made contact with that, but hardly. I mean, he was, it was barely enough to get anything going. So it's one away to begin our new season here at home. And I'll bring up J.P. Crawford. And again, we are playing on Hall of Fame difficulty for both batting and pitching. Um, it's, I think, the sweet point I found where I'm challenged, but I'm not so overwhelmed that I can't do anything. So we'll see how that goes for us. 0-2 count now here to begin on Crawford. We're going to try to ring him up and get Marquez a strikeout. He's not known for being a strikeout pitcher. But he got one there. They say he offered. Crawford goes down. So it's 2-up, two 2-down two here to begin our home opener. Now bring up Mitch Hanniger. 
There are his numbers early on the season. He's not really pr providing much of pop at the bat, at the plate, but uh, you know he's capable of it. And the slider's over there. Strike one. Let's throw another one. Let's go bottom away here. And that misses away. You want the curve? The knuckle curve here? Okay. And that is in. Strike two. So... 1-2 count. We're going to try to bottom out the slider here, make him chase low. And he does, but that's going to be a base knock. It just squeaked through right there between Mondesi and our second baseman. So it's a two-out single there for Mitch Hanniger. And the Seattle Mariners are in business here. And here comes Vogelbach. And he can hit the ball a long way if we allow it. So I'm going to stay away from him as best we can here, try to make him chase some pitches. A tough play for the second baseman. No speed from Han uh, from Vogelbach, so that's out number three. So the Razorbacks allow a hit in the opening half inning. We'll go to the bottom of the first Montesi Lopez Merrifield coming up to the plate for Arkansas. Going up today against Kendall Graveman. And as you can see, he did not fare very well in his first start. Five and a thirds. We'll see how we can play against him here today. I want to get our bats going. We didn't swing the bats extraordinarily well in our first episode. Mariners are one in six coming into tonight, today's game. That is not the mark they'd like to be at, but whatever. So 2-0 count here to begin for Mondesi. Again, same format we'll play for today's video. We'll play every inning in this game except for the fourth and fifth. We'll super sim past those uh, just to make it a little bit shorter of an upload. 2-1 count here to Mondesi. This is outside with the slider. 3-1 count. Nicky Lopez on deck, batting 182. And the two spot here for these Razorbacks. And Mondesi rolls over that one. Full count. He's throwing nothing but cutters. And this is outside there with a sinker ball. So Mondesi will be the leadoff man here for Arkansas. And he is a speed threat. You see that 94 speed, 99 steal. Mm, good job. I may try to steal here. He's going. And we're hitting that one foul, so they may pitch out here. I may wait. Gosh, I keep spoiling it. Right, I'm not gonna. I'm not. O2 uh, count. I'm not gonna try to steal here. We're just. He had, has he pitched one in the zone yet? He's pitched all around the zone here to stay in the bottom side of this plate. Nope. Didn't go. One, two count. Beautiful ballpark. I love the ballpark in Arlington. That's what I'm going to call it because I love this ballpark so much. I'm glad that at least the Dallas Renegades in real life are going to be making some use of it as long as it's there. And I think uh, some s soccer teams will be using it as well. So we'll see how that all goes. That's a tapper there. Tough play, but he makes it happen. So that advances Mondesi over to second. One away. Kind of works like a bunt in a way. I'll bring up our number three hitter here for the Razorbacks, and that is Whit Merrifield. Batting 375 on the year. Mondesi on at second and one away in the bottom of the first here. And he's going to roll through that one. Dang it. Two away on the first pitch there from Merrifield. And that's going to bring up Soler to the plate. Our DH. And he got me. Sw wow, that was a bad jump. That was a terrible jump there. I shouldn't have even, even attempted it. So nothing going there for Arkansas. Second inning now here. And the four seams in. We'll go back there again. Strike two in. So, we're going to go high and away for you now here, Gonzalez. And I'm, ooh, did he go? He thought about it. One-two count. 
What do you want? It? High and in? Okay. He wants the four seam. We'll give him the four seam. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. One away. Good pitch. Second strikeout. And here comes Kyle Seeger. He has uh, not fared well early on this season. Holy smokes. A .95 average. Needs to rethink his approach at the plate. Now, he is a pull hitter, so they are shifted over here towards right field side. 2-0 count. We're missing outside there. There it is. Strike one. We'll try to get the knuckle curve away here. And that's just tailing off on me, man. I'm not doing well enough on this guy. 3-1 count. Seager at the plate. Swing and a miss on that full count. Here we go. You want the four seam? We'll come in on him. And he fouls off the heater at 98. You want this one high and in, middle. So full count. And that's gone. I left that one right down the middle, and uh, that is a second deck homer for Seager. 440. No doubt about it off the bat as we just left that one over the middle of the plate and he drove it a long way. So the Mariners will take the early one nothing lead here. That gum. I mean, he belted that thing. How far did that go in that second deck? Goodness gracious, it went to the concourse out there. All right. Well, down by one, that's nothing to freak out about. We'll be okay. We just can't leave pitches hanging like that. It'll be a long game here for Marquez and these Razorbacks. And now his confidence is shaking a little bit. We're behind in this at bat 2-0. And we left that one down the middle of the play, but he fouled that one off. Goodness gracious. Come on. Swing and a miss over the four seam, 2-2. Two -two. So we're gonna go back away with the two seam here, try to ring him up for our third strikeout. And he chased and fouled it off. Come inside back with the heater. And he fouls that one off. Okay. Well, he's making life difficult out here. Me is, is long. Shed long. Fouls off another one. All right. Let's go inside here. Knuckle curve. They're giving you fastballs, fastballs, fastballs. And there's a base knock. Wow. So it's a one-out single after the home run as he's just we're struggling a little bit out there on the mound. So, the catcher's up to the plate here. We, we, I'd love a double play ball here. We need to get a ground ball. Let's get that slider tailing away. Maybe he could tap it. Nope, fouled. So, 1-1 one, one count. Man. I'm really struggling with the control here with this guy. And we got him on the slider there. 2-2 two, two count. Man. Kyle Lewis on deck. Fouls off the slider. And we'll see another 3-2. We're really struggling this half inning. And, oh, we got him on the outside part of the plate. It looked like ball four. The ump gives us the benefit. Strike three looking. And here comes Kyle Lewis, the two away and a runner on at first. Swing and a miss over the slider, 0-1. He's got that Sheffield wag out there, that bat wag. And he's busy up there at the plate. And he don't. He sees three pitches. He swings over three pitches. Strike three look, uh, swinging. But Seager opens the game up with the solo home run for the Mariners. Arkansas come up here again with Solaire. Batting 176 on this early season. And hit Tapper right in front of the mound. Wow. He just made the softest contact you could possibly ever make right there. So here comes Puig. Yasiel Puig picked up in free agency on a two year contract for Arkansas. He's going to... Ow, wow, wow, wow. Please don't get me safe. Okay. About to say that would be a very difficult, challenging play there to make at first base. That's going to now bring up 
Salvador Lopez, or Perez, Salvador Perez at the plate. Puig on at first, and he's gonna hit that one high. It's gonna get into the gap, and that's down by the away bullpen, and that's gonna be able to bring Puig all the way around. It's a stand-up double there from Salvador Perez, and Arkansas has tied the game up here in the bottom of the second inning. Beautifully done there. Good swing on the ball right there from Perez, driving that into the left field, left center gap. We're tied up here. All right, so that RBI double, Hearn will come up to the plate with a tie game. You watch the sinker miss inside there, a 1-0 count. Perez on at second. O'Hearn batting 300 this year, three home runs, nine RBIs. He's done a good job for us. You see there the last four games, he has scored four runs for this Razorback team. And 3-0 count to begin for O'Hearn. Michael Franco is on deck. i got to try to learn all these guys' names. I don't know these guys since I'm not a Royals fan. We're going to swing and tap off that sinker. 3-1 count now here for O'Hearn. Perez on at second. Tie game. And he will get that one. Foul. Wow. Roped it down the first base line, but barely foul. We're full here now. We'll tap one back here to the pitcher. Tough play here for the catcher again. And he gets O'Hearn by a step or so. Leading run 90 feet away here at third. And that will bring up Franco. Mikel Franco, the right-handed hitter. Looking to maybe give us the lead. And he will hit that one up to the shortstop. And that will retire the side. But not before Arkansas can tie the game up. And Salvador Perez, our catcher, hit a gapper that brought around the tying run. We'll head to the third inning here. 1-1. Leadoff hitter Smith coming to the plate. And that pitch is not good on the outside part of the plate. Let's try that one inside and see if it hangs better. Because that pitch is not good on the outside. Speedster, but we got him. One away. Go back to that slider again for J.P. Crawford. And you're calling that a ball, but that's all sorts of all in the strike zone right there. This ump is squeezing me on that plate. And he hits that one high, but not going to carry enough. And that is a out number two. Two away to begin this third inning. So settling in here now, Mitch Hanniger comes to the plate here for the Mariners with two away. We're looking for a clean one, two, three inning here. Let's see if we can get it. That was a hanging slider that he just watched into the zone. 0 oh, 2 count. And he was caught right there. Yes, sir. Hanger's down. Strike three. Marquez is out of the inning. It's a 1 2 3. Top of the third. We'll go to the bottom half of the inning. Tied up. Here is Brett Phillips coming to the plate. Our nine hitter. And he'll hack at the changeup, fouling it off to the backstop. 0-1 count here for Brett Phillips. 1-1 one, one count as the cutter misses high. And we're underneath that ball. We just popped it up. Dang it. Dang it, man. I moved the PCI down a little bit too low right there out of the middle of the zone. If I were to just keep it even, I would have maybe been able to drive that ball. Instead, it's one away, and Montesi will come up to the plate. Adalberto Mondesi. That's a hard first name to say. Al Adalberto. Ad Alberto. Ad Alberto. Got it. And he's going to get that one tapped over to the second baseman. And down we go. So, quick make. He's making quick work of us as well. Kendall Graveman is. Two down. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. Those off speed pitches are working really well for him right now. And there's not one right there. Carry, 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 carry. Whew. Foul ball, 0 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Now a check 
that's a sinker bottoming out. That's a 1-1 one, one count now here. Lopez looking to keep the Razorback inning alive here with two away, no one on. Misses inside and low with a changeup, 2-1 count. So hitters count here for Lopez. What will Graveman give over the plate here? He gave me a sinker on the knees, but we fouled off, evened out at two. Darn it. And we're going to hit that one up the middle, and it... Darn it. I thought we were going to be able to squeak that through. But it's a 1-2-3 inning. We'll head to the fourth, and uh, we'll go ahead and get to that quick manage. Like I said, fourth and fifth innings are quick. Okay, two on, no one out. God damn it. Home run from Franco. 2-1 lead for Arkansas. All right, so we're heading to the sixth inning. We got the 2-1 lead. We're back in, and Malek, Malek Smith is back in here now for his third try. Mark has it settled in now here, finally. 60, 60 pitches, giving up that one earned run on that home run earlier. That's it. He's done a good job. He's asked to be the, the, the ace of this rotation uh, off that trade from Colorado. We brought him in, and he's from day one. He's our, he's our ace of the rotation here. He's young. We're hoping he can settle into that role and do a good job for us. And there's one away here in the sixth inning. We're hoping he can give us eight strong, and then we can bring in the closer to get this win, but I'd like for the bats to give us a little bit more room to breathe. Right now, just a 2-1 game. And the sun's starting to creep down here in our ballpark, which makes it a little bit more difficult for the hitters at times. And I left that pitch hanging again. So it's a one-out single there from Crawford, and that's going to bring up Mitch Hanniger. He'll swing over the four seam. Let's go again right there. Fouls it off. 0-2 count for Hanniger. We're going to get him to bottom out with a slider here, maybe swing and a miss, and he grounds it. Second baseman. We're looking to turn two, and it's a double play. Beautifully done. That retire the side, and the 3-4-5 for the Razorbacks are coming to the plate, leading 2-1. Here's Merrifield. He singled back in the fourth inning. Graveman still doing battle here on the mound, the right-handed pitcher. This is inside there, the sinker. Last four games for Merrifield has two home runs. And in this power-hitting ballpark, I'd love to be able to add a couple today. Instead, we ground it. It's botched there at third, but he has enough time to recover. One away. So with one away, here comes Jorge Soler. He walked back in the fourth. Otherwise, he's 0 for 1 today. I've not been able to hit the ball well today. Oh, my gosh. This guy just doesn't throw normal stuff. I mean, he doesn't have a fastball. It's sinker, cutter, change, slider. That's difficult for me with all that off-speed stuff coming at you. Wow. And we chased at a sinker at the shins right there. 0-2 count now for Soler. And we're going to ground one to short and to shift. And down we go. Two away. Struggling a little bit right now. As Yasiel Puig will come up to the plate. Base is empty. Two out. One run lead for Arkansas. And we popped it up. Dadgummit. Well, that's an easy inning for you there, sir. Crap. This is just not a good... It's not a good hitting team. That's what I'm noticing. I mean, I know in the sim it's been working out. But for me, personally, I don't hit the ball well with these, these guys. There's a first pitch swing there, one away. Top of the seventh, and Marquez is still getting good working out there. Here comes Carlos Gonzalez. And four seam will miss away, 1 0 count. Gonna come inside on you here, Carlos. Make you hack at one. There it is, 1 1. Now I'll go bottom away again. 
And that one's left in the middle. How do we miss that bad? Are you kidding me? I mean, seriously, that was right down the middle of the plate. We got very lucky right there. Caught him looking. Strike three. Get down. Sit down. Seventh strikeout on the day for Marquez. And here comes Sager, the man that has the lone run of the day with that home run. Fouls off the four seam down 0-1. This guy worries me. Like I said, he's been struggling this year, but he can hit the ball a long way if we're not careful. 1-1 one, one count to Seager. And he calls it a strike. Wow. 1-2 one, count here to Seager. Two away in the inning. He fouls it off. All right, we're going to come in on the slider here with you at the knees. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. The side's retired. That's the eighth strikeout on the day for Herman Marquez. And Seager is livid. Both teams, four hits on the day. Seventh inning stretch here. And a new pitcher out of the pen for Seattle. Taylor Williams coming out. And that ERA is uh, terrible, as is the batting average. <laughs> so maybe we could torch this guy. We'll see. Here comes Salvador Perez. All right, what you got, my man? You're averaging over 400 batting averages for both lefties and righties, so let's try to drive on you. First pitch swing in there, fly out to right. One away. What is O'Hearn's speed out here? Can I drag bunt with him? Nope, that's a perfect four seam down the middle of the plate. We were just late on. Okay. A one count. Throw it there again. We'll see what happens. Nope. Misses outside, though. We're keeping our pin down right now. We don't need to bring in anybody out of the pin right now because Marquez is doing good work. He can give me another half inning. He can give me another half inning, and then we can give it over to the closer if need be. So 2-1 here to O'Hearn. Misses high. 3-1 count, so perfect hitter's count here. We're looking for something over the plate that we can drive into a gap. And there's ball four, so O'Hearn will walk and take his base, and here comes Franco who hit a home run back in the fifth inning. And there's a slider missing away, 1-0 count here. Come on. This guy is struggling with the command out there, and you can tell why that ERA is so high. He didn't have great command out there. There's a good slider he got me ahead of. Evens things out, one apiece. Staying away from me, I see. This is well low there, the four seam. 2-1 count. Arkansas looking to stay unbeaten on this year. It's 6-0 if we win today. And that's a good one. We hit it foul. Darn it. 2-2 two, two count. O'Hearn on at first. And we're going to hit that one. And it's just hit on a rope too much. Two away. A line out to center. Two away, one on. And that will bring up Brett Phillips, who walked back in the fifth. Lefty on righty. And we're going to pop out again. Dad it. Underneath it with the barrel of the bat. He drilled it out to center. But Smith's got it. And the side is retired. So nothing going there for Arkansas as we'll head to the eighth inning. And I'm looking for a good inning here from you, Marquez, to get us through this one. And we'll bring in the closer to start the next one. We'll get that save. And another, let's turn into another uh, pitcher's duel here. And there's a grounder. Tough play. And, yeah, that's not going to happen. Too much speed. It's a base knock to begin this half inning. And here comes Tom Murphy. Strike in. A one. Let's try to get a double play ball. Hit me. Give me a grounder. O2. Let's go knuckle curve. Ooh. That's a good pitch there from him. 45,000 strong on here for this opener for these Razorbacks. You gotta love seeing a sellout here at this ballpark. We left that one floating. 2-2 two, two count on grounder, second baseman. 
to short. On to first, it's a double play. Two away, beautifully done. Murphy grounds out into the double play. Here comes Kyle Lewis. And there's one over the plate, a one count. We'll come high and in on you now here. This guy up here in the top left, that popcorn needs to chill out. He's freaking out up there, what's he doing? I like the variety in the crowd now at least. They at least have a little bit more variety and crowds in the face. They still look like PS2 models though, but whatever. Oh, dribbler back to third. Tough play to make, but we make it. And the side is retired, so it's a, I guess a one, two, three inning there for Arkansas. Bottom half of the inning coming up. We're gonna get ready to warm up that closer. And Matt McGill out of the pen here for Seattle. Let's go ahead and warm up Tim Hill, our closer. And Adalberto Mondesi coming up to the plate. He's 0 for 2 today. With a 1-0 count, leading 1-0, or 2-1, excuse me. It's been a pitcher's battle out here in a ballpark that usually you don't see scores this low. But it's a 3-0 count. And that tells me we're going to give no chase at all to this next pitch. We're just going to make him throw something over the plate and maybe get a walk. And he, oh, he barely kept, found the zone there at the knees. 3-1. All four seams from this at, from this at bat are here. And we're going to ground. And that's a full count as that one went foul. Full count here to Mondesi. And right down the middle of the plate, we'll smash that up the middle for a single. And the speed is aboard with Mondesi's hit. One on, nobody out. And they're bringing in, getting ready for the bunt situation possibly here. We foul tip it off. Oh, okay, okay, I see you. You're trying to pick me off, huh? Go. And we're in. It's strike two, but we got a runner in scoring position now off the stolen base from Mondesi. He got a late jump there, but he had a he had a good lead. So 0-2 count now here for Nicky Lopez. This is low with a four seam. One, two count. Come on. Oh, good curveball. Wow. That was a good pitch. I got to give credit to where it's due right there. That was good. So Merrifield come up to the plate. We're not going to be in a uh, bunt situation here, even though we'd like to play small ball possibly. This is out high and away. Batting 167 this year's wit with runners in scoring position. That is not a good number. 2-0 count. That curve was asking to be called a strike, but... We're going to ground it. Tough play. He got us by a step, but the runner advances. And Solaire will come to the plate with the insurance run over at third. Solaire, come on. Misses outside there. Let's go ahead and get the pin situated here. Tim Hill, we're going to schedule you to put in the game for the close. I love the insurance run here if we can get it from Solaire. And, oh, man, that was a good slider to swing at. We were just late. Very late there on the 90-mile-per-hour slider, for goodness sake. Good Lord. That's his off speed. You kidding me? Oh, good slider there at the knees, bottom and out. It's one-two count. This guy's kind of tough to hit with that slider, especially righty on righty. That one gets away. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. No, we're in a pickoff. We're in a rundown. We're out of here. 
Yep. Dang it. <sighs> All right. Well, it's time for the close. Yes, I want. To. No, I do want to change pitchers. That damn it. Bullpen. Bring him in. Put him in the game. All right. So here's our closer. Four games this year. He's got three saves out of four opportunities. The ERA is well too high. As against lefties, the lefties are batting 357 against him, but right-handers are batting zero. So I don't know if that means they haven't had a bat against him, but whatever, we'll take it. Put on the sidewinder lefty out here. It's weird. And that will be a fly out here to left. One away to begin this ninth inning. Looking for our home opener victory here against these Mariners. Let's go. And there's another one popped out right center field. Merrifield's there. And it's three pitches, two outs for Arkansas. One out away, and here comes Mitch Hanniger. And he'll give chase to the four seam. 0-1. Oh, Go down here with the changeup, Arnie. Good Lord, we got lucky with that one. So 0-2 oh, count. And there's a base knock. That's going to get down to the gap. Puig is there. That's going to be a two-bagger there. The two away. The tying run at second. And that's going to bring up Daniel Vogelbach, who is 0 for 3 today. Vogelbach, sorry. I don't know how to say your stinking name. 1-0 count. Manager's not too proud of that. He thought that was a strike. 1-1 one, one count after that's fouled off. Swing and a miss over the slider. 1-2 one, count. One strike away. Leading 2-1. to one. We're going to go there again with that slider. Caught him on the outside corner. Strike three. Hill gets the save. Fourth in his... Uh, five attempts, and it's a 2-1 victory as Marquez moves on to 2-0 on this season in his first two attempts. Arkansas stays perfect at 6-0, staying the course of those Indians here in the American League Central Division as we win our home opener as this relocation team here in Old Texas, the ballpark in Arlington. Eight strong from Ramon Marquez, five, five hits, eight strikeouts, one earned run, and no walks. And the big swing from Michael Franco with the home run. And the RBI double from Salvador Perez. This is all the offense we needed here today from this Arkansas team as we move into the victory column yet again with a 6-0 start. Uh, that's one heck of an opening week for this team. And uh, we're going to go ahead and simulate a little bit here. Um, let me see. Where do we want to play next? It sounds fun. Let's go play at Toronto. So we're going to go ahead and simulate to this... Uh, to we're gonna send past this Detroit series or Seattle series and we win that one so we drop two in the Seattle series we're now nine and two on our year uh, but we're getting ready to go up against Toronto so that's what we're gonna look for next we are tied atop our division as the Indians are ten and three we are nine and two so uh, that gives us a tie atop the American League Central as it stands Yes, I know how this works. Thank you. I know how scouting works. I know how all this works. I'm getting all the tutorial phase things again. All right, so looking at the divisions, the East is tied atop the Rays and the Blue Jays at 8-4. and four. We are tied atop the Central with the Indians. And the American League West, the Astros have a one-game lead over the Rangers at 8-4. and four. That means the wild card is kind of all bunched up right now. The National League, the Nationals are leading their division by a half game. Cubs leading their division by a half game. Rockies and Dodgers tied atop their division at 7-5. and five. So it's a muddled up mess over there in the National League. No team really running away doing much. Uh, but looking at the league leaders also, uh, Santana right there for the Rangers, batting second in the league. Merrifield right there, you see down there, eighth place, 360 average. Also tied for second in hits in the league. Uh, double leaders is Aquin. Springer's leading in triples. Home run is Miguel Aguilar. Uh, Willie Calhoun right there with five as well. Knocked out 10 hits as a team. Salvador Perez with five is tied for first place. A lot of guys with five home runs in the league right now. He is also leading the American League in RBIs right now. Absolutely incredible. 
And Mondesi right there, second behind Santana in stolen bases. Let's look at the pitching side, see how things are going. The win leaders, Marquez, right now our ace, 3-0. and That is tied atop the American League for league leaders. Uh, losses, of course, you see we're right there with zero. Uh, save leaders, Tim Hill, our, our closer, is leading the American League with five saves and as many attempts, I guess six attempts he has this year now. Uh, our ERA leaders right now, Ty Blanche, or Block, whatever, however you say his name. He's got a zero ERA, as does Marco Gonzalez and Jordan Montgomery. But for the Razorbacks, two Razorbacks there, Marquez and Lopez, a .78 ERA and a 1.38 ERA. How about that for our pitchers doing an excellent job for us right now on the bump. So the Razorbacks at 9-2 and two will get ready for this series coming up against the Toronto uh, Blue Jays. So stay tuned for that in the next episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, please continue to show your support by hitting that thumbs up button, comment down below, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload, and feel free to subscribe. But I appreciate you all so much for tuning in here today. Y'all have an outstanding rest of your day. Stay safe out there. And as always, I'll see each and every single one of you back here in the next video. Y'all take it easy.